My favorite place to go and explore in Smart Notebook is actually the Lesson Activity Toolkit because this is where all of the games and the fun activities and tools are that you can edit um, to make your lessons a lot of fun and, and really engaging for your kids. There's a lot in here, so hang with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, actually let's go over what you're going to learn in the video. Um, what you're going to learn is all kinds of activities and tools that are present, where you can go to find inspiration. So if you find a tool but you're not really sure how you can use it for a lesson, I'm going to show you where you can find some examples. Then we're going to go over how to add those tools and activities to a page and then how to make them your own. So the Lesson Activity Toolkit is our third folder within the Gallery tab. When I highlight it, you can see again we've got some pictures, some interactives, and some files and pages. Within the Lesson Activity Toolkit, we've got some subfolders. We have activities, examples, games, graphics, pages, and tools. The difference between an activity and a game, a game is, you know, your kids are competing against each other, they're um, reviewing what they've learned, and if we open up the games folder, you've got, you can see you've got board games, crosswords, you've got some tools from decks of cards and dice, different things like that. Whereas activities are more learning activities where the students are practicing what they're learning. Um, Let's take a look at some of the ones that are in here. So we have some anagrams, category, sur sur uh, blah, 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 category sorts, um, some image matches, keyword matches, multiple choice activities, all kinds of different um, activities that your students can do. And kind of like the gallery essentials, um, there's just too much in here for me to go over everything. So really the best way to learn what's in here is to get in and explore, and you'll have that opportunity in the um, activity instruction within the course. Um, so the, I kind of explained the difference between activities and games. Next I want to explain the difference between graphics and tools. So graphics are things that are, are static, pretty much. There are a few that are interactive, but they're um, just tools to make your pages prettier, more organized. Again, you add things just the same way that you do um, anywhere else in Notebook. It's a click and a drag or a double click. I've got some different icons that I can use. Um, so like I use this a lot when I've d done an answer key um, to send the students back to the actual page itself. All kinds of fun things that you can explore. Labels, again, the cool little button, so I can bring the button in and then type some text, put the text on the button. Let's go ahead and get some more contrast here so it's easier to see. I'm going to marquee highlight, Ooh, maybe not, let's get rid of that. I'm going to marquee highlight these two and group them together so now that it, it's one thing it's not two it's not text and a button and so now I can hyperlink this to another page in the presentation by using the drop down and link I'm gonna send it to a page in this file I'm gonna send it to the very first page so now oh I don't want the corner icon yeah, to the object and so now I can go back to the very first page by using that button. So those are the different kinds of things that you can find in um, the graphics. Tools, notice that it is all interactive. So our tools, the kids love Balloon Pop. So what I can do is I can write an answer on the page. Here's my answer. Cover it up with the balloon. As soon as you click it, it does pop. But when you click on it again, um, it will go back. One thing to remember, whatever you put on the page last is on top. Notebook works with layering. So I need to actually send this item 
I need to order it all the way to the back. Now, when I drag my balloon over it, it's hidden. And so the students come up to the board and they pop the balloon. It makes a sound. Lots of fun. Any items that or tools that you drag onto the page that you want to edit, you have two um, different kinds of uh, triggers um, to let you know what you can do. The two blue arrows are your editing buttons. So now I can come in here and edit this text and then click on that when I'm done. The three lines are resizing handles. So um, just be aware of those two uh, triggers um, to know what you can do. Some different things in here, you've got a click and reveal star, works pretty much the same way as the balloon. Um, lots of click and reveals. You've got a keyword die, which is really cool. So I can use my editing arrows to come in here and um, let's do bird, jump, house, fry, work and car. I don't want it to repeat. So now when I click on this, it's going to come up one of the sides and I can say, okay kids, is this a verb or a noun? Um, I can also, if I want to work with this word, shoot it out and now I can do something with it on the page. Tons of stuff. The kids love the firecracker timer. Oh, flash is not working. So lovely um, but you can set the timer and when it gets done it will pop Yay! just lots of fun things to bring some life into your um, notebook lessons so that's tools and graphics let's look at uh, let me add a new page here so to edit an activity, let's do a category sort. Ooh, no, the kid's favorite is actually the vortex sort. So I'm going to bring in a vortex sort with text. And all of these are the same. The only differences are the colors. So if you've got a color scheme going um, in your lessons, you can um, stick with that. I'm not sure why I'm getting this error message here. So all of your activities are little templates, templates like this. You do have a question mark that'll show you how to, that'll kind of walk you through how to edit if you, if you need help with that. But really, it, it's, it's rather simple. You just click the edit button up at the top. We can label one with nouns, one with verbs. And notice that here, your labels changed. So now I can put in all of my things here okay rotate the vortices the kids love that you can password protect it I usually don't worry about that when I click OK my vortices are now labeled and so the students Drag, come up and drag them in. If it's the correct answer, it'll be taken into the uh, vortex. However, if it's wrong, it'll spit it out. So the kids get instant feedback. These are great for center activities when you've got a small group back at your guided reading table um, that students can be working at the board and get feedback without you having to be there. So spend some time checking out all of these great activities. If you need some ideas on how to use these activities in your classroom the example folders is a great place to go so you've got a folder that shows you um, a bunch of different um, ways to use the activities from the activities folder so like here's one for anagram we can start all right, I uh, don't know what this word, oh, I know what the word is. So we have to put the letters in order, and you're timed, and then you get your score. So that's your anagram. You've got some hotspots examples, all kinds of things like that. 
I mentioned layering to you earlier. Uh, whatever you put on the notebook page last is on top. So it's a really great way to do some fun activities. So um, you can use layering to do some color reveal. So what are the names of the following animals? The students just drag them down onto the, pe onto the box, and it's a frog. That's a camel, bison. And if you want to learn how to do that, you can watch the video right here, and it'll show you how to create um, that layering um, technique there. And some examples of how to, how to set up pages and how to use those tools. So that is uh, the Smart um, Lesson Activity Toolkit. One more thing that I want to show you, this lesson activity examples here. Um, if you are one of the lucky winners of Notebook 15, um, there is a new feature called Activity Builder um, that this gives you some ideas. This interactive techniques can be used with Notebook 11.4, some fun things in here, just some extra ideas, and then your 3D objects um, that you can use to drag onto the page and then manipulate. These are really cool. You can um, rotate any way you want, spin it, uh, rotate it this way to get a good view, or that way. The 3D objects are really, really fun to work with. So I hope that you are inspired and excited to get in here and, and um, find some fun activities that would fit really well with your age students or with your curriculum. And um, check out the activity instruction to find out uh, what I'd like you to do to practice.